Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Adam, and if you love luxury fashion, then you're definitely gonna love my channel. So make sure you like and subscribe. Check out my Instagram below for all of the latest updates. And today, let's get right into it. In today's video, I will have a new type of video for you guys. So every month, there is a new issue of Vogue, and every month, I will be reviewing the new issue of Vogue. So I will be going over the top 10 things that I would like to share with you guys, from photos to articles and so much more. So without any further ado, let's check out the latest issue of February's Vogue. Starting with the cover of Vogue, we do have Florence Pugh, who is an actress in White Lotus. As soon as you open the magazine, we do start with Dior, and this Dior shot is so beautiful. Everybody is so elegant and just so decadent, and it's just so, so classy. And I really do love all of the red and the lace detailing. Everything is just so spot on. And then when you unfold the page, you actually see a scene where everybody is dancing and doing twirls. And this just looks so glamorous, and it's just such my vibe. Then we had Fendi, which Fendi, you know, of course I absolutely love. Now, these new handbags, I'm not too sure what to think. They are very similar to the peekaboos, but they do have a more rectangular shape. So tell me in the comments, what do you think about these handbags? We have my girl Kim Kardashian looking so chic in Dolce & Gabbana. Dolce & Gabbana, they honestly do make such good clothing, and Kim, she just looks so, so great in it. And Dolce & Gabbana, they do have a lot of controversies, but they do have amazing, amazing clothing. Here we have Bottega Fineta, and the reason why I wanted to include this shot in this video is because it is very reminiscent of all of the protests where they they do make signs and they even go naked to stand behind the signs to make a point. So I definitely wanted to include this. Here we have Marc Jacobs and the reason why I like this photo is because the handbag inside, I actually have a dupe of it. I have like six different colors and variations of this handbag, but it's so cool and I cannot wait to get to that video. Next we have somewhat of the index, but I really wanted to include the model to the right because she did walk in the Findace show and she absolutely killed it. She's honestly one of my favorite models. However, I cannot remember her name right now, but she is just so beautiful, so I wanted to include her. Here we have a Prada necklace, and the Prada necklace, I actually really wanted it until I found out how big it was exactly. Now, of course, I would definitely want this in silver, but in all honesty, I would love it in all black. I think that would be really cool, or even Strafowski crystals. But this necklace, so gigantic, and it is really cute that it is gold. So definitely had to include this. This is giving me 100% Doja Cat vibes at the Scaparelli show. And all pink glitter with Shafowski crystals. How cute is this photo? Very, very Doja Cat, very Bella Hadid, and just so cute. And then we do have an article about Greece and skincare, which of course I had to include because I am part Greek. So I have a huge connection to Greek mythology, and that's why I love Medusa so much and the brand Versace, because it really does, like, get in touch with, like, my Greek roots. Prada bags and Prada totes are forever classic and forever chic. You really cannot go wrong with them. Here again, we have one of the stunning models, but I really wanted to highlight the Prada bag on it because the fact that, one, it's pink, and the tote bag looks so functional. I would be interested in checking this bag out in person. I really wanted to highlight this Prada bag. Here we have more Prada for the tuxedo. And the tuxedo, every man does need a Prada tuxedo in his life. 100% for sure. But this Louis Vuitton dress that she is wearing, this dress is so retro and it is so, so beautiful. I am absolutely living for this outfit. Now we have this beautiful blue Alexander McQueen dress, and from left to right, we do have this stunning Alexander McQueen, and then in the middle, we will have this beautiful Dior dress with so much embellishment. It is absolutely beautiful. Now this dress totally looks like it wants to be Alexander McQueen. 100% must have had the inspiration from McQueen, but this seems to be a dress from Olivier Thayskins but it is really, really cute, and I'm loving the McQueen vibes. So on the left, the button-up shirt that this man is wearing is just so adorable, and honestly, I would love this shirt, but I can't really figure out who it's from exactly, and he is just so handsome. He pulls it off so well, and he honestly makes the shirt look 10 times cuter. And for one of the last pages, we do have this beautiful orange Hermes Kelly bag, and it is with ostrich feathers, and it is just so cute. Now for a collector's piece, I honestly would love this bag. Now it's not the first Hermes Kelly that I would buy, but definitely to add to the collection, I would totally love it. And last but not least, we are at the back of the magazine where it does feature Louis Vuitton, and I absolutely love this photo shoot. She looks like a giant doll that's too big for the dollhouse, and it is so adorable, 
And what a great note to end on. Okay, and that is it. Thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Now, since I am starting this video in February, but I want to review all of 2023's issues, my next video on the Vogue magazines will be from January 2023, and then we will catch up to March. So I'm really excited to go over all of these with you. Now, I know there's a lot more articles in January's, and when it comes to the articles, they're really like hit or miss. It's either like good articles or ones that I just really don't find that interesting, but I will be showing you more articles, not just photos. So I am excited about that, and thank you so much for watching. Comment down below anything on your mind and what was your favorite parts of this magazine, and have a great day. Au revoir.